Hi, welcome to Cooking with Firewater. I'm your host, Ben. This is how to make a Sazerac based upon the uh, Wine Spectator of January, February 2012. So, first, what you're going to need is uh, some sort of a whiskey. Most people go with a rye whiskey, but I'm going to use um, Buffalo Trace Bourbon just because I've not done it before and it's sweet. It's a sweet bourbon and I like sweet things. Okay, you need two ounces of that. You need four hits of the Angostura Aromatic Bitters. Most people recommend Peychaud's Bitters, but I can't find them, so we're going with what they had at Ingalls. You need Grande Absinthe. This is absinthe. It's not the real thing. I don't think that it's addictive, although I keep stealing car batteries uh, to keep uh, myself stocked in this, so I don't know. Maybe it's addictive. Uh, it's like 70% alcohol, so it's strong. Uh, and then as far as devices and whatnot, you need a muddler, you need a mixing glass, or some other kind of glass would be fine also, a, uh, an old-fashioned glass or like a bourbon-type uh, sipping glass, a strainer, lemon. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to coat this glass with the absinthe, which I've already done. You can see there's a little bit of frost on there because I coated it in the absinthe, just about a teaspoonful or a half teaspoon, and put it in the freezer uh, for a little while just to get it good and cold. Then you put the, um, oh yeah, sugar. You need a little bit of sugar. Put about a, a teaspoonful of sugar into the mixing bowl with the bourbon. You can cut it with water if you want to, but I don't recommend it. Start with the strongest and then mix it down. Uh, and Put the shots of um, the bitters into it with some ice cubes, and then muddle. We're muddling. Once you've done that, once you've got it all muddled, by the way, I did all this in advance. This is just for show. So muddle it. Take a little longer. Once you've muddled it, you want to take your strainer, put it over your old-fashioned glass, pour the liquor through. You don't want to get all the sugar granules in there if you can help it, uh, although they may be useful later. I'll tell you in a second about that. Once you've got that, check that out. Cool. Once you've got that, uh, you got all those components in the glass. You take the pulp. Oh, shoot. Sorry. This is unsanitary. That's okay. I'm drinking it. Oh, well. It's in there. You take the lemon, just the pulp, not the actual rind, and you squeeze that a little bit in to taste. Obviously, that's the thing about amounts. It's always to taste when you're making a drink. It has nothing to do with science. Uh, it's all art. Um, so once you've done that, you can mix your glass a little bit. And then here's a cool trick with the lemon rind. Lemon rind. Take it and just twist it. Let's see if I can get it close where you can see it. Twist it like that so you make a little loop. And it gives you this cool little lemon sort of um, slinky. There you go. Drop that in for appearance. And there you have a Sazerac. 